So uh, what we want to basically do today is uh, something that I haven't done for a while because, well, I haven't really been interested in this, but anyway, today uh, I decided to buy one of these. Now this, guys and girls, this you can see right here on the camera. I'm just gonna get it as close as possible so you can get it, you know, read what's in it. You can see this. This is a Western Digital uh, Solid State Drive. This one is like 240 gigs because here in my city it's kind of hard to acquire um, hardware of any type. I actually have never had one of these SSDs. Uh, my normal computer, although it's very powerful, is kind of like already 3-4 years old and it doesn't have a uh, M2 um, slot on the motherboard. And uh, I, I couldn't install this on my uh, normal uh, computer, the one I use for most most daily stuff. And uh, I have one laptop uh, in another place that is also very powerful, but again, it's a couple of years old. <laughs> it doesn't have an M2 slot, it doesn't even have a slot for uh, SSDs at all. It's just one... Uh, it basically has this one uh, slot for hard drives, so I can install it there as well. But uh, some time ago, I bought this Ultrabook, and this is an Acer uh, Acer Swift one, and this Acer Swift one is very inexpensive. It's like less than probably 400 bucks if we're counting American dollars, or even less than 400 euro if we're like counting euro. And I basically open it up, so uh, it's open. It's completely open. This uh, this laptop is completely and utterly open, as you can see. It's quite nice, it's kind of reflective, and of course this thing has like a dual fan here at the back, which is weird. For something that doesn't have a um, external GPU, and these dual fans for just the processor is kind of nice to see in a laptop that's uh, so cheap. So I already kind of unscrewed the back because I didn't want to do this on camera, uh, basically. It's all aluminum, uh, the back is... I want to cover some of these codes because I'm not sure what's going to happen if I show them. But basically the back is this. This is the back. It's all aluminum. It's really nice. And now what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to swap out the SSD. The one that's already inside because it has 128 gigabytes of uh, storage. What I'm going to do is install this new RAM slot. Uh, basically this thing has like 3 years of warranty. Which is quite decent, I gotta be honest, I'm quite proud of this. So whatever happens to it, I'll be able to, you know, survive on the warranty. I'm hoping nothing happens to it. And here it basically is. Look at it, it's such a small thing, it's really nice. I don't know if you can see it nicely, but it's so cool. And now it's time to unscrew the plate that's holding the old SSD and basically install the new one. So, let's see if we can do this, okay? Now, uh, I've tried to make this as bright as possible with light falling directly onto the um, area that I will be working on. But basically, what we need to do, and this is... Um, I'm going to show you where... This is, of course, motherboard, you know what this stuff is. This is the battery. Uh, of course, the dual fans I already mentioned, with, of course, a uh, copper heat pipe. This copper heat pipe, uh, leading all the way here, as you can see, to the processor, it's kind of nice. So you have the copper heat pipe and you have it leading all the way to the processor. Uh, there is a USB ribbon cable here which is not really ideal because the solid state drive is of course right next to the SSD and we need to basically, uh, you know, remove this cover. Um, I'm gonna try to zoom in just so we can see like right here, I don't know if you can see this, this is basically one of the screws that we will need to remove. So uh, I have a screwdriver exactly for this type of screw. So as I'm doing this, let's see if I can remove it all the way without, uh, without needing anything else. Okay, great. It's removed, and now there's a screw on the uh, other side. 
just basically here. Uh, of course, here you see there is a cable, and this is connected to the speaker, one of the speakers, which is also not ideal, but unfortunately, this is how it has to be done. So again, as you can see, it's pretty easy to unscrew. Um, screw, unscrew, unscrew, and you take the rest of it out like this. Now, I'll give you a wholesome picture here. Basically right next to the fence. This should be easy to remove. this so hard to remove. So it was a little uh, harder than I imagined but this is basically the old stick. Let me just get in the camera here. Um, and the old stick came off quite hard actually. It's kind of crappy because it has this um, entire cover up on it uh, as you can see. So this cover was kind of hard to remove. It's kind of hard to remove. But anyway, now things should be good. So now that I've done this, I basically need to take uh, the other stick. Just a second. I'm into the camera a little here. But uh, I'm getting the stick as we're speaking. To kind of insert it. So the 250, the 200, 246 gigabyte one is coming in here into this little sleeve thing exactly the same way as the other one was fits nicely and now I'm gonna try to connect it which is going to be very hard because as you can see space here is not the best I kind of wish I could get over the, the stick itself. Let's see if we can do this because that's how I took it out. So, what the hell is going on here? Up, 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 I'm able to get one part in. And um, the angle is like very bad. I probably should un unscrew the USB cable because that's like a problem, but. Uh, Actually, I think I managed to get in securely. Is it in? It definitely feels like it's in. Yes. So let's see if we can get the sleeve. I'm gonna need something to just lift it up a little. So the sleeve could this business USB cable is like really in the way so I'm just gonna unscrew it just like this because it was really in the way I don't know if anybody can see what the hell I'm even doing at this point but the gist of it is that I'm trying to slip the cover on onto the memory stick. And there it is, it works. Now let's get back this ribbon cable, this USB ribbon cable in here. Because like it's very hard to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is how you shouldn't get the computer hardware connected okay it's connected it's nice everything's back in place uh, this as well it's, it's not particularly great on the USB cable here but I don't think to create any sort of issues because it was connected this way before It was a little bent, but what can you do? Now let's uh, try to secure this in place. Come on, why is the screw not falling correctly into the... 
place I wish it to fall. Nope, nope, you see, I think, I think the cable is still problematic. Oh yeah, there it is. This is definitely, I think, the effect that I needed to get the screw straight. And um, the screw, guys, is straight, pretty much. And now what I have to do is screw the other screw, which uh, goes over here. Just let me drop it really gently. Got sometimes I wish I had like uh, really nicely magnetic screwdriver, but this one will do as well. As you can see, we've screwed it back into place. So everything is nice and it should move at all. As far as I'm concerned. Yep, nothing's gonna move at all. It's pretty safe in place. Seems pretty safe and placed. So it's safe drive seems to be connected, so there should be no movement. Just double checking. Nothing nothing should move. Everything is pretty much done. And I can like place the back panel. Now the, the, there's only one problem, I won't be able to show you the startup because I'm ordering a new um I'm basically ordering a new, how should I say this, a new charger because my old charger was default, or was defected, so that's not cool anyway, but I have this SSD now, so I'm also going to have to keep that, and well, thank you guys for watching this quick USB <laughs> SSD repair, well not repair, SSD replacement video, I hope uh, it does you justice for whatever you plan on doing in life.